Okay, in this uh, case, we are going to see the solution of exponential equations, but using logarithms. Why uh, we use logarithms in this case instead of use the equality of exponent theorem? Because uh, in these two uh, exponential equations that I give you, there is no way to uh, get uh, the same basis on both on, on both expressions. That means you have numbers where no matter what transformation you do, you don't get the same basis. Then in this case, uh, what are we going to do is just to apply logarithms. Can be either natural logarithms or common logarithms to both sides. You know, then I will apply natural logarithm here. I prefer the natural logarithms in this case, but it's the same thing. You know, doesn't matter really. And I will apply natural logarithms on both sides. Then I have now natural logarithm of 3 to the power of 3x equals the natural logarithm of 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. Of course, we know the property of logarithm under state. We know the logarithm in base b of m to the power of p is equal p times the logarithm in base b of m. This is the factors as a power property, you know, then I will bring the 3x there is exponent here to the front of the logarithm multiplying and I will bring the 2x plus 1 that is exponent to the front of the logarithm multiply. I will get here then 3x times the ln of 3, the natural logarithm of 3 equals then 2x plus 1 in parentheses because I have two terms is a binomial times the natural logarithm of 5. Then, of course, we have here a product that is 3x ln of 3. And then we apply the distributive property and we multiply 2x times ln of 5. Positive times positive is going to be positive, and then 1 times ln of 5, that is going to be ln of 5. After that, we bring, you know, the 2x ln of 5 to the left to loop the x together, we have 3x ln of 3 minus 2x ln of 5, right, equals ln of 5. We factor x out, and we have, sorry, when we factor x out here, because x, as you see, is common factor in both terms on my left side, I have 3 ln of 3 minus 2 ln of 5 equals the ln of 5, right? And now we are ready to isolate the x by dividing both sides by 3 ln of 3 minus 2 ln of 5. Then to isolate the x, I'm going to bring, you know, these whole expression that we have here, you know, dividing, we get then x equals ln of 5 over 3 ln of 3 minus 2 ln of 5 and the solution we get here is the exact solution if you want to get the approximate solution what you have to do is to evaluate this with your calculators here I have another example 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 2 to the power of x plus 2 no matter what transformation you apply over your equation you don't get the same basis then we're going to apply logarithms as I said you can apply use either natural logarithm or common logarithm then in this case I will apply you know common logarithms then I will say here lab and lab you know remember that the common logarithm is logarithm base 10 then when we apply logarithm on both sides, we get now here, you know, the logarithm of 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals the logarithm, and not the, the common logarithm, sorry, of 2 to the power of x plus 2. We bring the 2x minus 1 and the x plus 2 to the front of the logarithms, multiplying using the power as a factor property then we get here 2x minus 1 
in parentheses because it's a binomial times the logarithm of 7 equals x plus 2 in parentheses because it's a binomial times the logarithm the, the common logarithm of 2. We multiply now using the distributive property 2x times the logarithm of 7 is going to be 2x common logarithm of 7 minus because negative times positive will be negative 1 times the logarithm of 7 will be logarithm of 7 equals x times the logarithm of 2 will be x logarithm of 2 and 2 times logarithm of 2 will be 2 logarithm of 2. Now we're going to group the x together then we're going to bring you know this expression to the left and we're going to bring this constant with our x you know to the right. Then we get here 2x log of 7 minus x logarithm of 2 equals 2 logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 7. We factor x out here as, I, exact, as we did in the other case, or it's factoring x out. Then taking x from both terms, we get 2x times 2 log of 7 minus log of 2 equals 2 log of 2 plus log of 7 and then we divide by 2 log of 7 minus log of 2 and this will be x equals 2 log of 2 plus log of 7 over 2 log of 7 minus the logarithm of 2 and like that you know we get the answer and this is just the exact solution. As I said before, if you want to get an approximate solution, you have to, in this case, you know, evaluate this expression in your calculator.